Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're a first time watcher, glad to have you here. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below. And to all my returning favorites, welcome back. So we are upon Memorial Day here in the United States. Uh, Memorial Day is a day, a weekend, um, that we reflect on our service members, um, both um, living and those who, who gave all um, for this country and to allow us um, the option, the ability to do candle reviews on the internet. <laughs> um, it's a freedom that we enjoy uh, amongst other things, um, but uh, doing candle reviews on the internet, um, you know, is part of that. So, uh, and also to the families of our uh, armed forces, our veterans, um, you know, uh, and to, to the military members, you know, thank you um, for your service. I did put my uh my brand new american flag out front uh big three by five got it at costco you know um so uh just uh, you know the show proud to be an american um and for those who are not american not, not in the united states i'm sure you all have something else um similar uh to honor your service folks um veterans uh abroad so with that said um, I'm going to do the candle review that, um, Memorial Day, um, you know, the purpose of Memorial Day allows me to do, you know, the freedom of this country. So, we're talking Yankee Candle Fall 2019 preview. Um, uh, I was going to combine this with a Christmas preview, but I figured it's a little too early. <laughs> um, maybe in June. Maybe June or July, but we'll see. Maybe even sooner if if you guys want me to do it. I do have like four or five uh, new ones um, that I can talk about. But I do have four, five, six candles here. Um, well, six forms. I have wax melts, or I have uh, a tumbler. I have a or sorry, I have a pillar. I have a jar, and I have wax um, melt cups there. So let's talk about. Um, so some manual say, all right. Uh, sorry, today, May 24th, goes until like July something, I think, or June something. It's ridiculous. It's like five weeks this year. Um, so they released a few cents today. Um, a couple of these I got my own before some annual sale. But for some annual sale, they released wax melts, small jars, and I think plugins. So let's go over one of the scents that has not been publicly announced um and i talked about it a little bit before the other day on my blackberry tea video and of course that is blackberry tea so if you didn't see that video um you can pop on over to that after this video or just listen to me talk about it here so this is blackberry tea um it looks to be a returning scent from oh my gosh probably about nine years ago at this point um and i it's the thing is i don't know if it is the same scent. I never had that scent. Um, they're not normally in my cup of tea, and certainly if I wasn't reviewing a candle or doing candle reviews back in 2010, um, I would not have picked it up if it's not my cup of tea. But in the interest of sharing information, uh, here it is. So this is uh, it's tart blackberry. Um, it's a strong blackberry. You do get that tea note now. You don't get the hot tea note per se. Um, in my video the other day, I did equate this to going into Panera and they have like the hibiscus tea and they have a couple of other tea options. They're like passion fruit tea. Um, I could see this fitting in to there and I kind of get a little bit of that um, that tea note from, from Panera in here, believe it or not. Now, interesting to note here, this is supposed to be a fall release. I'm not 100% sure, but all signs lead up to that. Um, they're in iced glasses. So this is like an iced blackberry tea. Um, not sure if that would fit the fall theme, but for context, the old blackberry tea, the label was different and it had hot tea and little china cups, you know, little china tea glasses there. So look for this one soon. Probably July, maybe June. And so that gorgeous, gorgeous purple wax. Really nice plum color there. So 
Now let's get into the scents that were released publicly today. Now there is a sixth one that I don't have here. And it was only available in a small jar and it was um, oak and amber incense. And my God, it was amazing. Um, I would, I just didn't feel like spending $11 on a small jar. Um, even though they were all like buy three, get one free, I went the route of the milk cups. Um, Cause it was a little bit cheaper than spending like thirty dollars to get four. I spent fifteen and got four. So, um, but that scent is more like a Halloween scent. It was like really smoky, incensey going on there with the oak wood. Um, that scent was really nice, and uh, I cannot wait to get my hands on a larger format of it to try it out. Um, so before, let me preface this and say this is a complete one eighty this fall release uh complete 180 of last year's disaster so last year we had poached pear poached pear flambe we had tranquil mist we had some other vanilla orchid uh vanilla thing going on there we had a pumpkin trifle um we had a lot of horrible scents um and, you know i talked about my video before at the end of 2018 hope uh, the CEO of Ink Candle, president of Home Fragrance Division there at New Brands, um, stepped down, stepped down. Um, and we have a new new president, new CEO of uh, Home Fragrance. Um, and we apparently have a new production manager there. Now, these scents here, there little chance these were um, thought up by the new CEO already or any of his new people. Uh, in place, but I do think that before Hope left, there were changes in the making based on the feedback that they got last year, um, especially from Halloween. Um, this year we have two new Halloween candles, Haunt Hayride and um, Trick or Treat or Jack O' Lantern, Trick or Treat I think it's called. Um, two new candles coming out there, um, which look good, look real good. Um, but anyhow, let's get into it here. So, um, I think this is one of, it's a, it's a good fall. It is a good fall so far. So, uh, let's start with, so this, these are all part of, I believe, they're all part of the new Farmer's Market Collection. And this is what the label on the Farmer's Market Collections are going to look like um, in the large jars, tumblers, and pillars like this. So, we do have modified labels, um, very much like the... Um, the uh, uh, Sunday Brunch Collection there. I'll draw a blank there. Um, so very much like that. Still in the keyhole size. It's larger than a keyhole label there. But um, as you can see, this, this is Golden Chestnut. This is in a 12-ounce uh, pillar. You can see the wax is this nice chestnutty brown going on there. And uh, this is really nice. So I had never had a roasted chestnut until... A fall festival last year um, in town and this is like spot on so here we have the chestnuts there on uh, uh, like a wooden table in uh, a little wooden bowl there so when you think chestnut you think that like that nuttiness so it has a nuttiness going on to it but it has some spices like a cinnamon or cardamom going on in here I don't really get like a roasted note there, um, but it's called golden chestnut. So I don't really get like the roasted. So these could be like fresh picked and then I kind of mixed in with the, the cardamom and cinnamon going on there. But it's very, very nice. This could, um, this could be a late fall scent for me going into Christmas, certainly. Um, cause I, I almost get a vibe of like a Michaels or an AC Moore, but not as like red hot, red sharp, like cinnamon right there. But I'm digging it, really. Digging that. Next, let's go up to, this one's called Dried Lavender and Oak. Not going on there. Um, we have just uh, some oak background and we have some uh, lavender sprigs there. Now notice this is actually in a frosted uh, milk cup 
container. The frosted ones, historically I've seen, have been like American home ones. So I don't know if it, they just ran out or whatever. But um, as you can see, it's like a purple, like purple wax there. And this one uh, kind of caught me off, off guard. I was really wanting to like this one a lot. Um, and I just don't like it as much as I want to. Um, to me, I do get a cologne vibe. I can almost guarantee there's like a bergamot or another type of citrus going on in here that gives it that cologne feel, kind of like you're walking into like a sophisticated men's store walking through the cologne department. That's what I get there. Now I do get a little bit of lavender going on in here. But other than that, that bergamot or that citrus or whatever uh, is going on there is overtaking the lavender. So it's not bad. It's not my favorite of the collection. Um, it has dry lavender and oak. Next, let's go to Farm Stand Festival. Now, here's an interesting one. So along with this, Farmer's Market is being retired. Um, so this is kind of taking its place. This is really nice. So, you guys know I'm not one for apple scents. Um, but on here, it looks like we have some kind of cider. We have a bowl of apples. And we have um, some kind of herbs going on there. Nice, like, burnt, burnt orange wax. So here I do get a little bit of an apple note. It's undertone. Apple is the undertone here. A little bit of woodsy note, kind of like a woody farmer stand woody note there. <clears throat> Let's warm this up here. There's some spices. There are certainly some spices going on here. Probably coming from that herb, whatever that herb could be. But there is certainly spices going on here. Probably mulling spices. I could see mulling spices coming out of here. We'll have to see how these, when they warm up, how they come to life. Because um, these are, these wax, these milk cups here, um, they're sort of super concentrated, per se. So we got to see how, see how it warms up there. But I'm, I'm liking it. I am liking it. Now, this next one, I love it. And that is sweet maple chai this could be a starbucks frappuccino drink that i would drink all fall long um and I, they're kind of alluding to that in the picture um where they have the thing the bowl or the, the bowl but the, the glass cup there which is like a mason jar uh overflowing with uh, whipped cream and uh some cinnamon and caramel or maple drizzle on top bam so, maple, number one ingredient here, number one note, most certainly there. The chai is in there. This is a beverage. This is certainly a beverage uh, scent. <clears throat> maple, cinnamon, um, another spice going on in there. Sweetness, caramel, uh, <clears throat> milkiness so this is this is what the picture says here this is uh replicated 100 percent to what they were going for huge win on this yankee huge win now it's sweet so you don't like sweet now i see i normally don't like some sweet scents um but i love these kind of frappuccino beverages there like the s'mores one right now at starbucks awesome <clears throat> really, really good, and it's like you got like the like the droop dripping of the wax there. It just looks like a beverage. <clears throat> so yeah, we have the tan coffee, coffee colored wax, and last but not least, that I have home run, and I don't like apple scents. Cider House. Look at that. We got. Probably some golden delicious there or some sort of 
really, really juicy, juicy apple going on there with a pure darker red going on. Apple cider. The apple cider, apple cider candle cannot hold a candlestick to this candle. Um, and it's being retired. So they have nailed this apple cider scent. Um, I, I can't believe it. It is so good. It is, um, if it's spiked, don't, it's probably spiked. But this is like a fresh crushed apple cider. You go to the local farm there, they're pouring it. You get it in like a glass, glass uh, gallon or a glass jar. And it's just super fresh. And it's, uh, it's got some spice in it there. <clears throat> and it's hot. It's hot apple cider, not cold, hot apple cider. Um, picture doesn't allude to that at all, but I'm gonna say this is a hot apple cider scent. So I get, pour it in like a styrofoam, styrofoam cup mug while you're there, but you pick it up. God, they, they nailed this. They 100% nailed this fragrance. So I am, man, I am very curious to see how these perform in candle form, I do have high hopes because of the changes that have been made. So that is my preview for Yankee Candle Fall 2019 Halloween. Like I said, two new scents. Christmas, we have another collection similar to the farmer's market. Um, it's called something different here than it is over in the UK. Um, not sure why. But the Farmer's Market Collection will be available in the UK in their new labels. And the new labels for the UK look sort of like our returning favorite labels um, that we've seen on the ones throughout, um, like, before the 50th anniversary candle. So, like, from Christmas time, those returning favorites, that's what they look like. This is a long video. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see y'all real soon. So, uh, yeah, thumbs up, like below. So have a good one.